The sword master selection exam is actually a bait because the people there are using us as sacrifices so that they can harvest the souls to somehow feed it into this barrier to keep the dark god from, what is that, respawning? I'm not really sure, but we know that it doesn't matter because Yogiri is going around killing everyone and when he kills someone, the soul doesn't exist, so there's an imbalance of that. And not only that, remember, he already killed the source of the miasma, meaning that the dark god or something might already be done. I'm not really sure, but I feel like the main character right now is not Yogiri. It's the gacha guy. The gacha guy is getting all these sick powers. Now he has this fucking, like, if he dies, he can, like, return to a save point, right? The goddess loves this guy. He even got new anniversary rewards. Like, I'm more interested in the plot point with the gacha guy. And it's also unfortunate that so many different wife we just keep dying. This fucking yogi guy is a menace. Let's begin today's reaction, though. That's right, we kill all of them. But this girl survived. Her people? Her sister's trapped here. Who does? Oh, it's uh, Lionel. Frederica sucks. I'm not gonna lie. Frederica sucks. She is just annoying and bitchy. And she's not even cute on top of that. She's just annoying. Alright, our party survived. Lionel only died like 10 times. Standard opening of gate number one confirmed. This is the episode title. Gates, Yogiri's power, Alpha Omega. But they also talked about a couple episodes ago. Remember we got into this arc? There was like the classmates that saying like the gate has opened. Like we just kind of have been holding off on that plot point for a while. But this episode, let's see it. Next phase of the test. 17 people survived. Oh? Wait, there's four of those things? Okay. Because there's no more souls. Because Yogi is fucking everything up. Dark God to breach. Here we go. The Dark God's coming or what? Uh. Sure, Barry is gone. This is all Yogi's fault. Oh? Is this a dark guy? No, it's not. Someone new? Who is this guy? I did not volunteer for this. Fuck humanity, I'm out. I didn't sign up for this shit. <laughs> Yogi just like, all right, we're gonna get out of here now. <laughs> Bye. No, we're not gonna do about this. All right, let's get out of here. Find a sister. Maybe Liney will be the one to uh, beat this thing. He's got the primo gems ready. Yeah, that tower is just gone. Why'd you kill Mr. Armor? Oh, they're all just dying. One by oh, they really tried. He did say that. He did say that, though. <laughs> God, they're so trash, dude. Frederica died. Please kill Frederica right now. Zap her. No, zap her. Shut the fuck up, bitch. I can't believe she's still surviving. Who is this? Unique entity. Who? What the? Okay. What? Who are you people? Loot and orga. And the thing about this show is that they just throw like 10 different characters at you every episode. So do I even have to memorize them? All right. We got discount Yogiri here in loot. Please just kill Frederica. She's annoying. Oh, her arm's gone. Oh, her arm's gone. Oh. So whatever she touches can turn into a candy, like a snack? <laughs> no, fuck Frederica. Don't even give her the primo gems to heal her. Don't do that. Oh, oh, what is it? One more you are guaranteed gotcha. Bro, hit the pity, dude. Wait, it's a guaranteed. Come on. Pen pull. You are? Here we go. Here's the UR! What's gonna come? What's gonna show up from this? Oh, it's the goddess again. With more weapons. Why does it look so disappointed? Look at these new weapons, bro. Is she? 
Can other people see the goddess? Is he having a schizo attack right now? Or she's gonna fight for us? Seriously? Why are they swearing allegiance to her? Sama? The, 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 the gachi goddess is not a meme. She's like an important person in this realm. And the, these people, the unique entity serve the, the, the goddess. Is, is the goddess the actual true villain? <laughs> what is going on? What the fuck is this plot? Sensei? I don't know. Meeting me was the unluckiest thing that's ever happened to you. I, I thought bro was super lucky to have a goddess that cared, but he got roped into all this bullshit because she is the source of the problems. Oh, she wants to wipe out all of humanity. Um, well, she's still hot though. Okay, interesting plot twist. The fuck? The tower got cut and we're back. Someone cut the barrier. There was a howling noise. Someone cut and the barrier's gone. Uh, who did it? Who cares? Okay, sure. Hello? We're not gonna ask the questions? Okay. Monster that looked like a blade. I don't know, dude. Sister? You hear? Ooh, they don't look human anymore. They look like blobs. Ugh. I think this is human experimentations, right? Ooh. Yo, we should put them out of their misery. This is fucked. Oh, the sister may have survived though, I see. Because she's not obviously in here. So then she's kind of happy about it, but that's still fucked up. Yogiri, just end them. Oh, he let her do it. Things got super dark all of a sudden. Oh, vengeance. Oh, wait, she's an Avenger now. This goddess, though, I... Biggest plot twist. This this goddess was evil the entire time. What the fuck? I hope the Odisha doesn't die, though, because I like her design. Damn that woman. Is, this, is she sharing her own little world with my darling? I just don't understand this show, you know? There's so many random plots get thrown at me. I'm trying really hard to pay attention. I truly am, but like these dialogues mean fucking nothing to me. Who's the darling? Is, is it Liney? Or Gain? Uh, okay. Rick, get in there. <laughs> you do it, Swordmaster. What the fuck? Great that you should get in there and die. This guy sucks. I never expected anything from you. But he's a true hero, in my opinion. Right, he has a save point plot, too. Kill me. Yeah, why are you? Why the sensei? How do you know them? Are you still on our side or what? So you're implying that you're gonna kill us. I would feel bad if you die without knowing why. So the goddess is just their most biggest enemy. My darling. Who is your darling? The dark god is your darling. I see. But did Yogiri already kill the dark god or what? That's what I don't understand. Can't beat the sword master? Lionel was chosen because he was so unlucky. Because no matter what she did, she couldn't beat the Swordmaster. So she intensely chose the gotcha guy, who was just the worst piece of shit, unluckiest motherfucker that ever existed. And it actually worked. It act her plan actually worked. <laughs> That's fucked. Whoa, 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 whoa. What if we like die, reset? And then don't summon the goddess. Because then the goddess only showed up because we summoned the right. I don't know, man. It's still her plan at the end of the day. But like, once the barrier goes away, will the dark god actually be alive? Or did Yogiri already kill? Uh, this dude. Uh, was he last episode? Did, he, did we kill him last episode? I Honestly, I can't keep up with all the characters we're killing off. I feel like we've seen him... Did we kill him? 
You're gonna kill them, right? Yeah, okay. So, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Barrier's gone. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, this guy is the goddess killer? This dude? So... <laughs> He was actually useful. He was named the goddess killer and got in her way multiple times. But Yogiri. No, it's fine. We can probably kill the goddess ourselves. It's fine. It's fine. Damn. He was actually a threat, huh? Oh my god. A walking apocalypse. Random walkability. Was that the reset? Dude, I feel like we're getting cucked right now. That just looks like a heart. So, like, my guess is she will do that, get rid of the barrier, expect the dark god to show up, but as soon as that happens, the dark god just, like, dies. Because Yogiri got rid of the source of the miasma, and I'm assuming the dark god is the source of the miasma. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, there she goes. But darling is dead. Right? Okay, the barrier's going away. She is just so down bad. But she's so hot. I'm conflicted. Okay, time has resumed. The dark god just falls and he's dead. Because <laughs> Yogini killed him, right? Yogini, Yogini killed him, right? So he's done? Eh? Eh? Hello? <laughs> You're supposed to- Dark God. Dark God? The dark God, why are you floating like that? Like a goldfish that's dead. <laughs> hey! Hey, the Dark God might be dead, but we got a Divine King back! We got a Waifu back! <laughs> yeah, he killed- he killed him like two or three episodes ago. Yeah. Whoops! I mean... Oh, the Swordmaster's dead! No! Does that mean Rick is now the Swordmaster? Damn, that was a fucking sucker punch. <laughs> she was just waiting for that. <laughs> Good one. Deserved. Deserved. <laughs> How could she not be thinking about that, right? I think this, this totally makes sense. I think that DOD, she has a revenge plot. Like, obviously, she's going to be more focused on above everything else, right? So who's the next Swordmaster? Because he said, if, if I die, Rick should be the next Swordmaster. So let's just assume that. Okay. Darling, what's going on? Wait, 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 wait! That's the aggressor! That's... I forget the exact name, but we saw this a couple episodes ago, right? Yeah, yeah, the... Oh, that's the thing that cut the fucking... The aggressor is what destroyed the barrier, too! Oh, wait, 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 wait! There are so many things happening once, exactly! I don't know what's going on! I'm like trying so hard to keep up with the plot, but there's like 17 different things happening all at once, guys. I'm really trying, okay? I'm really trying. If the show is intentionally breaking the fourth wall to tell us that there's so much different shit happening, then it's not my fault, right? <laughs> Jesus Christ, okay? I'm not the one. One? One for what? Aggressor's gone. Bye bye. Can you? Can you? Okay, she's back! <laughs> what was the point of the aggressor showing up if she survives? Okay. <laughs> that resurrection scene into the maniacal lab was actually funny in a really stupid way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and she's back. And she's back. Alba Karma's dead, bro! <laughs> Okay, the cope on their side is to get more sacrifices. Yeah, we got the Divine King, though. Yes, ma'am. Yogiri, you could end this in an instant. Come on, help out, bro. Surely Yogiri's gonna save everyone, right? Oh, getting real close. <laughs> and you dead. All of them are dead, just dropping like flies as usual. That's right, Rick and them don't even know about her skill though, right? I think he just wanted to fill their titties on his arm. Yeah, the goddess is kind of popping off too. What is she doing? Wait. He has no reason to kill her because she's not acting hostile towards us. I mean, that still does align with like, um, what's Yogi's like philosophy of like, not attacking people that don't have killing attempt for us. Come on though, look at her though. I feel like you should do something, bro. Oh my 
I got it's him again! It's the slave! Oh, and, and Aoi's back! The fucking boss- Okay, wait, 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 wait. So she is a sage assassin? I didn't realize that she's an actual sage. I thought that she was just a sage candidate. But just like Lane, she's an actual sage. Okay, I didn't realize this part. Okay, okay, okay. You know this slave dude is not gonna die, though. Alright. Okay, this is ridiculous. She just walked up casually. She, it, it, like, there's like a fucking battle for a survival going on. The goddess is fucking popping up. The dark god just like everything is like going to battlefield, and she just walks in, dragging this guy. Hey, is, is, do you you get it here? Who the fuck are you? Yeah, who are you? Okay. And you know what else takes priority? Thank you for the Prime subscription, Patrick. I see you. All right, back to the show. So Rick is the sword master, just like how he said he would be. You can use the power of the tower? But the tower is gone. Just stab her. Poke the goddess. Boink. <laughs> All right. Another penetration. And then? That's it? She's done? <laughs> no, I have a feeling I have a feeling Piggy is gonna live forever because like shitty characters like this exist not to die but to be tortured throughout the series, which is I guess the fate worse than death. But goddamn, he still annoys me every time I see him. No, it's Yogiri. The tuny eye. How strong? Wait, what? Whoa, 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 what are these stats? What is it? What is it? Final destination of all fates? Alpha Omega, what does that mean, though? In the shape of a man. This is too cryptic. A fucking disaster? I thought that she could rival him. She's like, like one appraisal and like she's done. Because like her skill is literally just like, she can just like, ima she, she can just like define concepts, right? So she can just decide that her, his power doesn't work, then it won't work. So it's like whoever gets the first attack will win between Yogiri and Aoi, right? But like, even just the base appraisal makes her throw up. The end of all destination? What, what does that mean? Look at this guy ratting on Aoi, but that is kind of true. Oh, oh, she's just puking. Are you okay? Alright, take your, take your time. She went from I'm gonna kill Yogi to holy shit, I, I gave you, please don't kill me, please, please, please. What the fuck? She's folding so easily. Uh, no one wants him. Ew. Oh, you're gonna kill him? You're gonna kill him? How the fuck did you move like that? Wait, you're on your fours? And she scuttles backwards. How? Where is the physics here? Okay. <laughs> this fucking guy. <sighs> this piece of shit, dude. Honestly, I'm conflicted because sometimes he says some out of field degenerate shit like this which is kind of funny you know it's, it's kind of funny but at the same time it's like fuck you <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty gross and we i'm just still upset that frederica's still alive bro like that upsets me that bitch should have died can't believe so many different waifus survived but frederica did sorry surprised that so many waifus died but frederica did you want, okay, where are we going with this now? What, what plot are we going with now? Whoa, whoa, whoa! He just happened to inherit the fucking thing! It's not Rick's fault! Relax! Not to be rude, but what can you do with your lack of ability? I guess there are people here that don't exist that Takato the Yogiri did everything, huh? I mean, yeah, I mean, we were behind the scene just like killing everything, but damn, he bro actually doesn't know what happened. Nobody here knows what happened. Wait, Divine King does? Divine King knows though. Oh wait, she actually knows straight up. That was him. She knows! 
<laughs> it just kind of happened. Sure, you just accidentally said die. <laughs> One thing. I feel like the Divine King's design is extremely lackluster and mid. Like, he's just wearing, like, fucking beginner noob silver armor. This is supposed to be like the Divine King, you know? You would expect some big titty busty, you know, goddess-like waifu, but... I don't know, the design for this girl... I feel like there's a lot of potential that was kind of just like a miss. Yeah, it's him right there. He's apparently the end of all fates. He's the destination of the end. Average student my ass, you are Alpha Omega. Uh, I don't know. Why are we even here? Because we were trying to get somewhere, but then there was a bunch of fucking rocks preventing us from able to drive past. Then a lolly dragon showed up. The lolly dragon said, hey, be a sword master. Why? So that if you become one, I can gain, like, I, I can get, like, good stuff from you just by being your follower. What the fuck are we doing? Isn't the lolly dragon dead? Didn't the aggressor literally kill the lolly dragon last? What are we doing? I don't understand this show. I don't. Cool shit happens all the time. And I'm really trying to pay attention to the plot, okay? I feel like I am going out of my ass to really pay attention and try to understand what is going on. But the more I think about what is actually going on, I realize nothing makes sense. Okay? Can't believe we're gonna fucking help out Frederica. Liney, you deserve better than Frederica. Frederica sucks. Okay. The Odishi is gonna be a regular member in our party now? Have we heard this name before? Where have you heard this name before? Who is Euphemia? Am I cr I don't think I'm being schizo right now. We have heard this name before. I have heard this name, but I don't. The slave who became a vampire. Oh, yeah! Cause she was also a dark skinned girl with um silver Oh yeah 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 Lane she was simple for Lane Oh okay okay Half demon Yeah Alright we got a big party No thanks never mind <laughs> Never never mind Down there I like that She got rizzed up there Oh ending's playing Yes You suck You don't need to exist I hate you Who is this? Oh, yeah, this girl. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, she's the sensei. She called the goddess the sensei. Uh, oh, say, uh, the, the fucking sage girl, Sion, yeah. Because she's the one asking, is this instant death magic or not, right? Yoichi, trusted assistant who serves Sion the age. Uh, is Yoichi our classmate? I forget. Someone people that Yogiri knows from Japan. The girl. The, the 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 milf office lady that we see in this flashback all the time. If he if she gets summoned here, is she is she even alive? Actually, that's another question. All right, summoning huh? the the lab guy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm seeing the seat. My power level is five hundred thirty thousand. <laughs> Come on, say your power level. Come on. Power level. Okay. Alpha Omega. Is that where his power came from? A parallel world. Not just this world and not Earth, but the world that Yogiri might be from. Smartphone doesn't work here, right? What the fuck? The fuck? Well, I guess because this software uses a tracker that's local to here and doesn't rely on some kind of GPS like the network. How the fuck does a smartphone here work? Maybe it's just tracking his GPS, okay? Bro is popping off and Shio doesn't know what's he even talking about. Gate number one! Here we go again. Self-destruction sequence targeted for C-level. self C-level employee. Self- What? Employees die? Is he gonna explode? Wait! Is that lab guy gonna die? Yo, yo, back off. Five meters. Five meters. Five meters. Get away. That's what you get for not being a B-level employee, dude. Okay, he dead. I don't understand the story. What are you? Alpha Omega, the end of all fates. The fucking... I don't know. What is he? We're, he's, he's some being that just ends people's lives so easily. He's the ender of concepts, the killer of things. But who really fucking knows? And that's the episode. I'm not gonna lie. This arc... I just feel like when I'm watching this show... 
I don't know what's happening. Like, like I see what's going on, but like nothing makes sense to me. And does anyone else feel the same? Is it just me? Maybe I'm just too stupid for this show, but I just feel like the story throws so many different characters at you, so many different plot lines at you. I'm trying really hard to keep up with it, but at the same time, I just don't know. And I'm just sad that so many different waifus dies over and over. But I'm slowly understanding a little bit, right? I, I understand at the end of the day, you know, Xi'an has summoned all these people just for sages. Because sages need to be procured to fight these aggressors from showing up. Why do the aggressors attack us? That, I'm not really sure. But beyond that, there's different subplots going on, right? Fucking, uh, this girl's looking for her sister. Yogiri is just... What is Yogiri doing? I don't know. We're going to the world capital. We're trying to figure out a way to get out of here at the end of the day, right? Who the fuck is Moko Moko? I don't really know. Fuck this guy. But at least there is a lot of mysteries. It makes me keep thinking about what the show is happening. And, you know, and I'm ultimately, I'm just here for just killing random shitty classmates at the end of the day. But that's it from me if you're still here. If you'd enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.